I'm here with a good friend of mine, Divine. Divine, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Vari Divine. I am an A&R agent for independent artists. Um, I also have a podcast called The Flame Compass Podcast, where we cover business, artistry, and industry, and mindfulness. And I'm really dope, psyched to be here. Ah, every second, like there's so much to dissect, and I love that about it. Like you can listen to this and dissect. Oh, yeah. Over and over and over again, all the symbolism, like all the, it's, it's so it's, good. It's, 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 well, cause like his past works, it's like yeah. a transition in his life. Like every part, it always releases before he releases his album. It's like a foreshadow before he talks about what he's really gonna talk about. Like, yeah, I don't know what this one is about. That's the real question. Like. I feel like this is a precursor of how he feels with how the black community is right now. Exactly. Because you chose specific prominent figures that hold a lot of controversy in a lot of ways, you know? And mm -hmm. shout out to his producers. Shout out to whoever even came up with the concepts and themes to even that, be, be exactly. fake like this. Because that in itself is on some other type shit. Like I, I like, this never is freaking would, art. I <laughs> never would think you would ever do not this, not like this. You know what I'm saying? But because like even the album cover, I don't know if this is the album cover for the whole album, but the album cover for the singer is all of their hands like together. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. You know, Kendrick he disappeared, but when he disappeared, he you know. He's disappearing because he's working, man. You know? Right. Exactly and, that. Like, and it's things. And I honestly, like, that's what I was, earlier I was saying, like, the relatability and the, like, com um, in comparison to a lot of Black male figures mm -hmm. are very human. And... Mm -hmm. And that's another thing like I think that he touched on too. It's like they're human. And you already know, brothers, brothers be going through it. And mm -hmm. in every which way, no matter how how big their celebrity is and how high their mm -hmm. celebrity is, um, they're still black men at the end of the day in America. Right, right, right. And um I feel like there's like the there's a connection to each one that he may have. Like there's something that he relates to with each one. And um with him also being from LA and the right. that's it touched me with the the um Kobe and the Nipsey's and I'm just like oh. it's and that's and well, I, think, the, I think he added that because it's like the real sad part is especially with Nipsey like y'all didn't really acknowledge the greatness and the talents until they died you know what I'm saying yeah. like like Nipsey Hustle people knew about him but y'all didn't really even you know he, he has street credit he before before yeah. street credit he was still yeah. you know like um, really whatever in life like sit here and listen i mean and he's been independent since day one he proved a point in the sense that he could do it all by himself like he didn't need to sell himself out to the label but like y'all didn't really care acknowledge that until he died y'all didn't really you know and it's like and I think with Kobe, it's just, you love Kobe, but then it's like the other part, at least for me, that I see is that y'all profit more off of him being dead and use it in a way. And it's just like, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Then just respecting him and letting it be. Cause I ain't never seen so many people profit off of him. I, I've never, maybe aside from Michael Jackson, maybe. But like with him, it's on some other type mess. Like you have, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I, I don't know. Like when he died, I don't, I don't know if you heard. Like they brought up the controversy of his um. He had like a sexual assault charge, like way back in the day, and people brought that up. It was um. I don't know if it happened. I think it happened in the beginning of his career, and people brought that up in the midst of him dying to try. Yeah, to that's true yeah so i feel like you saved those two for last because they are it's still fresh you know as sad yeah. to say i mean it's been a year almost two years and some change but it's still fresh for a lot of people. 
Yeah. Like, it's not something you won't let go. Um, so. <clears throat> yeah, that was actually my very first time seeing the video. Mm -hmm. Like, my very, very first time seeing it. Oh, and um, to be honest, I, I don't have much to say about it because I do want to go back and kind of dissect a lot of the lyrics mm -hmm. and the faces that he decided to use. But on a surface level, um, I believe that Kendrick was definitely being the voice of Black men and uh, Black culture and all mm -hmm. of the societal issues encompassing that. Right. And um, also, I think it's like you said a little bit earlier, I think it's just a precursor to his actual album release on May 13th, which um, I have no doubt <laughs> that this album is about to be um, very deep. Mm -hmm. um, in a very creative way. Um, and it's going to address a lot of the things that have been happening um, in the world in a real right. way, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and so this, th I feel like Kendrick Lamar, it, it, he, he's definitely not the type of artist for the faint of heart because no, he's no. speaking a lot of truths. And some people might think, oh, he's just putting a bunch of words together one after mm -hmm. another. He's not really saying anything. It's like, you're hearing him, but are you listening? Right, you know, right, right. and so, and so this is why I don't really have like a super deep, you know, uh, synopsis as to what I think this oh, is. Um, I'm gonna have to look at it and listen to it like oh, yeah. a few more times <laughs> before I can actually like really give like a really in-depth um, uh, opinion about about what's going on with this one. But yeah, man, th this is artistry. Like this is artistry oh, yeah. at its finest. Like absolutely. Like, well, like a lot of people forget, um, you know, I tell people like, like damn won a Pulitzer Prize award <laughs> for his mm -hmm. artistry. Like, like, I don't know, y'all, I don't, I don't think people, it's like, I know rap serves a purpose for every different person, but like one thing you can't, you can't discredit is the fact that he paints overarching themes of very real stories because he's about that life. Yeah. A lot of your favorite rappers ain't about that life. They talk That's about why a lot of them get locked up right now. That's why a lot of them got caught and got locked up right now. Look at Young Thug right now. Right. Young Thug ain't got it. You know, racketeering. He, I mean, he from the, since the beginning of day one, your aspects of who you wanted to be and talking about where you came from, it was always deeply rooted inside you. Mm -hmm. And I think why i like him so much is that you talk about an internal struggle of shaming yourself from wanting to do better and you feel like you wanting to succeed means that because like his main thing even he talks about it in damn is having survivors go right like he has he's a billionaire well not he's a million i'll say he's a millionaire i'm pretty sure he is but he does not spend his money on things like he has I mean, you have enough money to get a Lexus and you won't buy a Lexus for fear of, I don't know, I just feeling like like you will become a different person or the fact that like how he left Compton in general, cause he wanted to do better. He had to go somewhere else to like see his sights and grow. And he felt bad cause he was leaving his people. And he felt like, like that was shameful. I mean, because he saw those people. He knows those people. He right. knows people who shooting other people on the side of the street. He knows people, uh, the, I mean, even from his earliest albums about people pimping themselves out and, and, and him himself being a part of a coup, <laughs> almost dying in gang activity. But like, exactly. it's not, and it's like, and I like how at the end of the day, he never ever has to prove who he is. Like, I right, like and that's that's what I love about Kendrick, right? There's a wisdom about him. Like there's a right. wisdom about him that he came from that. He's been in that. Mm -hmm. And with this platform that he's been given, mm -hmm. he's not using it to glorify what he mm -hmm. came from, but he's, it's like, I like when people say that they're teachers or teachers or whatever, or preachers, he's an educator. This right. man, is an educator Absolutely. musically like Absolutely. and he yeah. is and, and that's what i like about him that's what i was saying a lot of these young rappers like right now i've been looking at this craziness going on with like young thug and like 28 other people and gunna and all this crazy nonsense and i'm just like why 
somebody um and i usually i'm not a huge fan of gilly or anything like that um mm. but he well there was an interview a while back where he was talking to the younger rappers and talking about how like you know he had been in um prison for like 20 years of his life and he's still kind of young and like half his life he's been in prison and you guys he told them how you have a platform right now mm -hmm. and you're do not that you have you're making more money than you've ever made in your life don't mm -hmm. choose to screw it by still doing his stuff mm -hmm. uh still still being in the streets mm -hmm. still doing all that you know and he's living that kendrick is living that like because i've been around that i came from that but at that point it just becomes when you are a rapper and you gain this platform you gain this following Mm. you're supposed to use it for something and nowadays we see so many even independent artists coming up and it's like they they have lost their why like why mm. are you doing music you know because well, you um, know, there, I mean, there's, a, there's a lot of artists that start off with just i'm just doing this for entertainment purposes this is just mm. a club banger just to get the attention and then later yeah. that artist might evolve into something like a kendrick lamar you mm. know but when it comes to kendrick be humble sit down right, like, right, right. literally <laughs> literally that yeah. is what he is doing he is being humble people don't know what that means people think that being humble is just sitting down and shutting up and it's like mm -hmm. no being humble is remembering where you came from and talking mm -hmm. about it and exposing right. it and not letting your surroundings change you but mm -hmm. you are actually changing your surroundings right so right. for him to have such a big platform and to be speaking these truths like i said Kendrick Lamar isn't going to be for everybody, Ooh, especially this generation, yeah. <laughs> especially our generation between the ages of like, I don't know, 21, 35. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of us, we just, you know, we're, we're just- I think it's the fact that like, the mark, but. <laughs> I think the reason why a lot of the rappers, the reason why you stay in the streets is the only reason is because that's the only way you see yourself as relevant because you know that your own work won't make you well, stay relevant. Well, they're, they're still trying to prove themselves. Like yeah, said, like yeah, they, they brought they brought their insecurities from their old life into their new life. They thought that the insecurities were going to go away, but <laughs> actually they're going to get worse now because you have money. Yeah. So now you're going to buy the Land Rover, the the Range Rover, and you're going to buy the shoes, and you're going to like flaunt and it's, a, it's a proving they need to like, prove. Yeah, they still yeah. feel like they need to prove themselves, and and people get it twisted. Like these celebrities, they're people. Yeah. They are people just like us. Yeah. They have insecurities. They just have a lot of money. And they're <laughs> talented. They just want to insecure people. You know? Yeah. No, for real. I I'm excited to see who he has collaborating on this album. That now that yeah, absolutely. I know and for Kendrick to put you on his album, that ain't no Yeah. 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 I mean like <laughs> I definitely he's pretty consistent with his collabs. He's very consistent with the people that he works with. And I feel like that's because he only entrusts so many people with his art. But I would be excited to see who he allows in that, in the universe of his art, who he feels like can, I don't know, really kind of defy the album. Whatever this album is speaking of. I, I feel like if, if we're going based off of this song, and if you're saying you're trying to, I feel like he's trying to talk to Black Twitter, to be quite honest. <laughs> <laughs> but I love Black Twitter. Um, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, Black Twitter yeah. Is but out. like, this is like <laughs> this is like the perfect little discussion thread that would happen in Black Twitter because you have one half that would look at this video and think that it's artistry. Then you have the other half they feel like he is too. He's like fake. There's I don't know if you ever seen this, but there's a lot of people like they they quote unquote hate Kendrick because they think he's fake. Like Recently, I heard that he was. Somebody said he was mumbling, and I'm like, "What?" Yeah, you, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah um, I saw that too. <laughs> but like, you know, I feel like he. I don't know. I'm really excited to see where this is going. Right. I feel like he's about to do a That's lot, right. a lot of low jabs. I don't know. I feel like the same way that like J Cole when he did KOD and he called out people. I, I feel like he's about to. He he's really about, about to, to do it. Him. Yeah, man. I feel it, man. Cause you 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 bring it to the table. The controversy already. Like he was, right. he brought out Will Smith. Multiple, like you are in multiple it. controversies. <laughs> yeah, man, you're in it. When you, when I saw Will Smith and Jussie, I said, oh, he, mm, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's digging deep. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> here we go. He's like, here, oh. here is what we are getting ready to discuss. Class yeah. is in. Get your <laughs> notebooks. Get your pens. I'm ready. We're about to you up right now. We're about to
got this a bottle of kids of America. Bottle of- <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. But yeah. to put a um, to put a cap on that, yeah, uh, definitely. So you're excited for? I'm Kiara. excited for the album. Um, you know what I hope? I hope that now that Kendrick releases his album, you know, Rihanna will go ahead and slide on that album because she has it in the archives. And Frank yeah. can hop on this train too because I want. I want something else too, you know. I'll ask for my same. Um, you know, if they ever watch this, you know, I'm just saying, no pressure, but a, a little bit, because it's been some time. Okay, people had kids; they're in like kindergarten now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just maybe, you know. But uh, I'm excited. I'm ready. This was fun, guys. I feel like it, it was. was. It was. Uh, Thank we you gave for it, having me on. I appreciate it. What's our rating? <laughs> what out of uh, one one through ten? What's the final rating? Uh, of the video? Yeah. First, my I say honestly, I say a ten. I like it that ten. much. Yeah. It's cre- it's yeah. it's art. It's oh, earlier I said it's spoken word. I was like, this is. Yeah. I'm in it, and I'm a huge lyricist, so I'm. I'll give it a ten. That part, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give and it a ten because of the fact that I'm gonna go back and study it a bunch of times. <laughs> so <laughs> if it's making, if it's causing me to want to study it, then yeah, um, it's a ten. I'm gonna be <laughs> here right to give it eleven point five out of ten. And all right, that's it. Well, thank you guys for so watching this video. Thank you, Reina and Devon, for being here. I appreciate this. This is thank this you is, for being thank here. This you. is nice. Yes, thank you. This is yeah. the Zoom table talk. I like it. I'm <laughs> I'm fattening this. This is it. This is this is the segment. <laughs> this is where it's at. Yeah. Be sure to watch Weekend Showcase. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me how you feel about this video. Is it trash? Is it mid? Is it hot fire? I want to know. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.